in the animation, we put a slider on example four. So this one here, we put a slider for B, the B value here, and we change that B value. So if, if you, as you moved it around, the problem moved around. So if you haven't done this yet, pause the video and go and do this on Desmos. And then I want you to think about what pattern does it look like it's tracing out? Okay, so the, and the thing to focus on is the vertex. If you take a look at the vertex, the vertex looks like it's tracing out some kind of pattern. So that pattern is a parabola. So the path of the problem of the that vertex, so maybe I should clarify this. This is a vertex. The path of the vertex of the parabola, as you change B, it traces out a parabola. Okay, so why? Why is this why is this the vertex of a parabola tracing out a path of the parabola? Well, when we look at the the as we change the value of b, so we generalize b, the middle term b squared minus 4 times ac okay, is and we want it to be greater than 0, but we'll just say that's equal to the discriminant. We'll call d. Well, really this is a relationship. It's in fact a quadratic relationship. So if we fix the value of a and c like we did in that problem, we said that a was negative 3 and b c was 5. So we did negative 3 positive 5. And as we change the value of b, we are getting the value of the discriminant. We end up with d is equal to b squared plus, in this case, happens to be 60. It, it, it's not unique to this particular parabola, to any parabola. If we change the middle value b, that b is being affected, affecting the discriminant by b squared, which means that this relationship is a quadratic relationship, which then must trace out a quadratic pattern because this is a quadratic relationship. And that's why the vertex traces out that quadratic 